In this video, we will show you how to enable and disable Acronis Cyber Protect for different editions. I am at the parent level, and you will see that I have two tenants here. I'm going to go in to this particular tenant, and I'm going to configure. In here, under the Configure tab, you will see that I have six different editions here. Right now, I was at the Cyber Protect Advanced Edition, and I'm going to be upgrading them to the Disaster Recovery Edition. If you want to understand the differences between the editions, you can hit the Compare Editions tab and see all the different editions and what the features are. So I'm going to click on Disaster Recovery Edition, and you will notice that it will tell me that this would be applied to the tenant and the child tenants if I had them underneath this particular tenant. The features will become available for disaster recovery. Protection plans that I had will continue to work and all the backups and registered devices will still be preserved and that the statistics and quotas will be migrated to the disaster recovery edition as well. So I'm gonna hit switch. And now they have the disaster recovery edition. You will notice that if they had the disaster recovery edition and I wanted to downgrade them to the advanced edition, I will have a challenge because some of the items in the current edition are not available for the previous edition, which are these three particular services. What you would need to do in this situation is go under cyber protection, and down below you will see that I have these three items for disaster recovery. I would then have to disable these services by hitting edit, deselect these services, and then hit save. Now it is not there, and if I wanted to configure and go back to the Advanced Edition, I can. And it will tell me, since I'm going from the Disaster Recovery Edition, that there will be some features not available, and that only Advanced Edition would be available. And the protection plans that I had for Cyber Protect Disaster Recovery Edition will stop working, and then the registered and backup devices will be preserved. I will need to put in my login information in order to make the switch. And I'm going to go to that particular tenant and manage their service now. And you will notice that the disaster recovery is not there. I will now log out and I will log in as the parent. I'm going to upgrade them to disaster recovery. So I'm going to hit configure. Upgrade them to the Disaster Recovery Edition, make the switch. And now I will go into that tenant. And you will notice now that I have Disaster Recovery as part of this plan. So it is easy to enable and disable, upgrade and downgrade particular clients in Acronis CyberProtect. 